Hey guys, Bobby Chow here. So as I'm going through some of my videos, I figured I would do a bit of an icebreaker to allow you a bit of understanding as to my background. Um, for myself, I have had some severe health issues, um, quite severe actually. So when I was around 20 years old, um, right now I'm 36, but when I was about 20 years old, I had um, severe health issues. I enjoyed bodybuilding, so I was in a gym a lot, but I also uh, took a lot of milk protein shakes and I was eating terribly. So I was basically uh, going to fast food joints. I mean, I didn't have much in my bank at the time. Um, now I'm very successful with my own, have my own dream house built and uh, multiple luxury vehicles and my own construction business that I just sold. But uh, going back to my health, I had a lot of severe issues. I had stomach pains. I basically had every health symptom that you can possibly think about for a duration of about 12, 13 years. And that's something that I'm pretty sure not a lot of people have ever experienced in their lives. And I don't wish that upon my worst enemies. It was terrible. I felt I was basically dying. Um, and that is no understatement at all. I was bedridden for many, many days um, throughout that period of time. And I would feel sick, I would feel nauseated all, all hours of the day. Um, I would have ringing in the ears, I would have a lot of stomach gurgles, I would have um, diarrhea, stomach pains, a lot of gas, um, any type of food. So when it comes to like, especially dairy, um, wheat products, as well as uh, um, wheat's categorized under gluten, um, sometimes seafood, um, anything acidic, especially like Coca-Cola, oranges, um, lemon, anything like that would immediately get bowel movement reaction like right away and it's the worst feeling ever. And so basically during that period of time I was pretty antisocial. Um, for a reason, for a very good reason, is my health couldn't tolerate any type of, uh, um, it was just so easily, um, easily reacted to whatever, um, it could be, be stress, um, can trigger it. So it's kind of a vicious cycle. I mean, my body was severely inflamed, so my intestines had a high inflammation marker. And so anything like stress would flare it up and it would just be a vicious circle. So let's come back and uh, round it out a little bit here. So those were basically my symptoms. Um, so when I was in my um, early 20s, around 2021, 20, um, that's when it started to come around. So I saw a lot of doctors, um, a lot of traditional doctors. Um, some of them are great in what they do, but in terms of issues like what I had, they had absolutely no idea. Um, they didn't know how to resolve it. They didn't have any solutions for me. Um, essentially, I saw probably about 20 to 30 traditional doctors. I even went to a gas, gastroenterologist, um, so basically a GI specialist. And I had, I had a, basically a stack of paper this thick. And I'm not joking, it was, it was probably thicker than this. All about my medical history. And he researched it, he went through, reviewed it all. And when I was at his office, he looked at it and said, you know, Bobby, I'm sorry, there's really nothing we can do. I believe your symptoms are all related to stress. And indicated that when I was in university, um, once I'm done university, I'll probably start to feel better. And I, and I knew very well that that was not the case at all. Um, and so I went to, uh, my mom has a doctor, so I went to her doctor and I said, yeah, I'll just give it a try. Um, she, she pushed her hand against my stomach and said, looks like you have something called IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, and it cannot be healed. And you basically have to live with it for the rest of your life. When that happened, my, my stomach sank, my heart sank, everything sank. Like I just felt like life was over. Um, said that there's these little 
I forgot what they're called, little, these little pills that basically just slows down my bowel and said you have to take um, a quarter of this because it's very strong and you got to take that for the rest of your life and as the months pass you want to take higher dosage because your body adapts to it. Um, for me, I'm a strong believer of um, allowing the health to recover the body um, versus having to take any type of uh, prescription medication that I'll have to um, take for the rest of my life. Uh, basically, like life-sustaining drugs I absolutely don't believe in. Our bodies are miracles, and there are alter al alternate solutions, and I was 100% sure on that. Um, for myself, I mean, when I was younger, of course, I used to party, drink a lot. Um, I don't smoke, and uh, I don't do recreational drugs. And overall, my parents' genes were pretty strong, so um, I knew something was up, and I knew there was a cure for it in terms of being able to reverse my IBS, um, whether you call it a cure or not, basically just um, having the body return to a state where it's no longer presenting symptoms, so basically a healthy state. So after all those issues, um, she also recommended and said, hey, you know, um, Go through it, go through it all, and basically, you know, there's really nothing I can help you with. Um, and basically, the the investigation stops there in terms of finding out what my health issues were. So for myself, um, after seeing all these doctors, I figured, hey, um, my health is just terrible. And I sacrificed it for basically my university degree because I said, um, instead of me focusing on my health, I was focusing on my university and getting my degree. So I focused on that and I put that in priority over my health um, at the time because I knew my health would be able to tolerate it. So after that, I ended up uh, um, focusing on my health after I graduated university. Um, it became a number one priority um, over anything else, whether it's wealth or anything like that. Um, although I've done very, 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 very well. Uh, for myself so far, but I focused on health, and health was my number one right after university. So I saw a herbalist, and um, he basically diagnosed me as um, pre-diabetic. So basically, that means I'm on the path to becoming um, diabetic and having diabetes. And I even noticed that in my own symptoms, because I noticed that my energy was low, and sometimes it would be drained. Uh, my adrenals were absolutely weak. Um, there was, I get shaky once I get a little too stressed out. So there's so many um, areas that I realized um, that I had no clue on. So basically the last 13 to 15 years, I spent um, digging deep into the health arena. Um, and that is why I have a wealth and a breadth of um, health knowledge that I can strongly um, and confident in seeing that I probably know more than most people do in their entire life. Um, basically, some people live for the duration of their life into the 80s and 90s, and they don't even know the, the wealth of, of knowledge and health that I do. I'm not saying that to gloat or to shine my ego or anything like that. Um, it just shows the tribulations that I've gone through, the trial and errors, um, the type of knowledge that I've researched on, and so I'm here to be able to help you guys, my fam jam, um, in order to heal your health if you have health issues, anything like that. And that's why I created this um, YouTube channel, um, Ask Bobby Chow, is primarily health to get you to the point where you're not suffering any health issues. Um, that's a big thing is there's over 50% of population, around 60, I think, that are um, that have long-term chronic health issues, and that never existed in the past. Um, a lot of it has to do with diet. Um, I mean, genetics, maybe about 10%, but a lot of it has to do with lifestyle. And there are so many things in this world that are toxic that would harm you. Um, there's also good things that can really help you out. So over... Um, a period of time I'll, I'll be able to go through different topics um, on health and this applies to basically everybody everybody all the topics that I talk about um, related to health um, 
I'll cover it off. I'll also talk about finances. I'll also talk about fitness. Um, myself going through different series of bodybuilding. Um, I've, I've learned a lot and I can share a lot and uh, give a lot of tips. So back to my health. I saw a herbalist. I was pre-diabetic. Um, I went, I took a lot of um, HCL, also uh, hydrochloric um, chloric, um, digest, di digestive pills. Um, I also took a lot of uh, um, pancreatic enzymes. What else did I take? I took a reishi extract. That's more of an adaptogen, so it basically helps the body to um, resolve um, any areas where there's imbalances. Um, clean up my diet a little bit, um, but at the time, um, herbalist, they're great. But at the same time, it's, there's, there's still a lot of other areas that need to be considered um, in my health. So the best part is my pre-diabetes um, was basically non-existent after I've gone through a long series of um, appointments with my herbalist. But I still had a lot of symptoms and I still had a lot of issues. So I saw a lot of naturopaths, um, acupuncturists, uh, what else? I saw many different types of alternative therapies. Um, lots, lots and lots and lots. And acupuncture is good in some ways, but it also resets your circadian rhythm. So all your, all your um, pressure points. Uh, basically you feel very lethargic, especially if you're gonna do a full reset and have your whole body um, subdued under um, acupuncture. And then after that, so, um, uh, lots of natural paths. They were great. Um, a lot of it focused on diet. Um, there's also something called um, bone therapy. And that one is basically, the, it's really cool because you have all of these foods that you're allergic to. And for myself, I had so many different foods that I was allergic to. And it gets placed... Um, and she's a great naturopath um, in the city that I live in. So there's, there's this Petri dish, and you put all the various ingredients that you're allergic to. And then she would have this, it's kind of like a metal stylus, almost like a pen, but it's thicker and heavier. And then she would tap um, water, I forgot which points it was, like here and here, and in between my toes, and... Um, I'm holding on to the camera so I can't point it, but right on that, that web area of my, my, of my hand. And then she would um, have the other end, which there's a long wire to it, if I can remember such a long time ago, and it would be touching those foods um, underwater. And then the end of the stylus would be tapping um, some of my areas, uh, maybe my pressure points, but I'm not sure um, specifically what it was. Um, Great technique, but nonetheless, it allows me to eat specific foods um, for about a week to two weeks, possibly three weeks before I start to develop, um, before my allergies symptoms starts coming back for those specific foods. So that is a cool technique, but it doesn't last very long. It's not, it's not a permanent solution. Um, so there's a lot of different things that were experimented um, with myself. Um, and then after that, I, uh, I think I was watching YouTube and that's why I'm giving back because, uh, my health has come such a long way that I am way healthier than I've ever been. I mean, I don't know about, you know, all the way back to newborn, but I know since what grade six, so like 11 years old, 10 years old, I remember that my health back then was still not, it was good. Um, but sometimes there would be these odd symptoms I would experience here and there, but it definitely was not related to IBS. Um, but now I can, I can clearly say that my health is the best I can ever remember. And that's because of the wealth of knowledge that I've attained, um, that I've experimented with myself, um, and again, I'll share this, all this information with you. I'm not a doctor, but I can tell you that 
a lot of the information that I know will be so valuable for everybody out there. I mean, traditional doctors learn what they learn in school. They've been taught only one specific stream of education um, on the traditional side. Um, there was a, a kind of a fork in the road back in history where um, society either decides on going through traditional medicine or to go through naturopathic medicine. And of course, the pharmaceuticals. Um, different story, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about that, but basically it just goes into the traditional medicine side. And our society now, basically, when it goes to like schools um, and getting your medical licenses, those, those are all related to the traditional side stream of medicine. But coming back um, to the results. So I've learned so much and I watched this YouTube video and this one lady, I, I don't remember what, uh, what her YouTube channel was, but if you ever watched this, thank you so much. She's made such a huge difference on my life just by simply, um, I think it was only like a three minute video. And I watched it and there was a solution there. And basically what she said is that all your cells are so highly covered with fat. And fats, um, I've had a lot of different uh, fam jams that were giving me um, questions as to um, what fats basically um, includes. And yes, anything like avocados, it can be nuts, um, meat have fats and uh, obviously butter, um, any types of oils, those are all fats. And I'm not saying to avoid fats permanently um, because there are good fats, which will help your HDL. There's also, which also lowers your LDL, which is essentially the bad fats. The HDL is the good fats. Um, you also have triglycerides, which is the soluble fats in your bloodstream. But I'm not going to dig too far into that. Basically, too many cells in your body is covered with fats. So essentially, if you have, imagine this circle here is, is a, a cell. And if it's covered with too much fat, then as you're eating any type of food, especially carbs, carbs um, are what I believe to be the energy source for your body. Because um, there's only three, right? There's, there's proteins, there's carbs, and there's fats. Um, fats are double calories versus the other two. Um, so when it comes to the cell, if it's covered with a lot of fat, then if you're eating any types of food that contain carbs, sugars, um, it can't get into the cell because it's covered with fats. It's highly lubricated because you maybe have eaten too much fat. Too much fat in the past, that was especially the case for me, I drank a lot of milk, cow's milk. Um, being the ignorant dumbass that I was, um, yeah, I drank a lot of protein shakes um, mixed with a lot of um, cow's milk. And I drank that pretty regularly throughout university. Totally fucked up my body. Um, a lot of fast food that I ate, um, definitely not good. So with a fat cell, when it's covered with fats and you have, um, let's say, sugars that are in your bloodstream, and they're supposed to um, get into the actual cell to provide you with energy, it can't get into it. And so with the sugars in the bloodstream that can't get into the blood cell, what the body does, and when people have yeast overgrowth, they think, oh, something's wrong with my body. Almost always, almost always, as far as I know, even cancer, um, it's helping your body. Now, you might think that statement was, is the most ridiculous statement ever, but when it comes to cancer, the body's actually preventing the, the, your body from dying. I mean, if, if your body wasn't protecting you by multiplying the cells, those people who do have cancer will have died already, right? So those that have cancer, you'll know that your body's actually helping you, trying to keep you um, alive. But I'm not gonna jump into cancer because right now we're talking about um, IBS and my history um, with it and how I resolved it permanently. I resolved my irritable bowel syndrome permanently. Um, I have, I, 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 it's basically non-existent for me. And some people think that's a lie. Um, some people think, you know, there's no way you can uh, permanently 
remove reverse irritable bowel syndrome. Um, they think that I'm in a remission, it's gonna come back. Absolutely not. As long as you know enough about your body and how it all works, um, I can guarantee you with 100% um, confidence that I've gotten rid of my irritable bowel syndrome because irritable bowel syndrome isn't really a syndrome. Doctors would go through a list of, you know, what the possibilities are. If you don't have this, 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 then we really don't you have and we'll categorize it as irritable bowel syndrome. Um, and that's, to me, is just mind boggling. But anyways, my apologies, I've diverted off to another topic. But getting back, um, where did I, where did I leave off here? Um, yeah, so I watched that video, that YouTube video and um, discovered that when you have too much sugar in your bloodstream, your body's protecting you by growing an abundance of yeast and that yeast will eat up those, um, those sh excess sugar that exists in your bloodstream. Otherwise you'll die. I mean, you, you can't have an overabundance of sugar in your bloodstream. So the, the yeast will eat up those sugar um, in, your, in your bloodstream to help you survive. But the problem with that is when you have too much yeast, it can mutate. And when it mutates, it bores holes in your intestines. And then that also leads to something called LGS, which is leaky gut syndrome. Um, now when that happens, and I'm probably not looking at you guys correctly because I'm supposed to be looking here where the, uh, the camera is, and I apologize. But uh, yeah, with leaky gut syndrome, basically with those yeasts, when they mutate and they bore holes in your intestines, any type of food that you eat, for example, when I was eating oranges or drinking Coke, Coca-Cola, it would get into my bloodstream like that because um, my intestines was leaky. And when that happens, it goes into your bloodstream and your body goes into a bit of a shock. Not shock as in you pass out, but shock as in release toxins, whatever it has to do. And basically my, my signal is, is that it tells me is run to the bathroom. And literally it's running to the bathroom. It's not, hey, uh, excuse me for a minute. I have to go to the bathroom. It's more like, and I book it. And that's, that's why in social settings, um, I became a bit of an, an anti-socialist, if, if, if I may say, is because of that. Is these symptoms are so severe that it caused havoc in my life. And nobody had any solutions. I mean, I reached out to basically everybody that I can even think about. Any professions out there, I, sp I spent easily twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on my health. Um, probably amounts more to like fifty, seventy thousand dollars um, in total. Um, so I've learned a lot in that period of time. I've spent a decade and a half learning about health and learning about it deeply. So I probably have, um, on average, like forty-five years of health because I experience myself every single day, every single second, every single minute. I would research all the information there is constantly, all the time. Um, so that amounts to just so much wealth and I'm so happy to be able to share that with you um, with the advent of uh, YouTube and it being so much easier now to be um, sharing videos as opposed to in the past where it would take literally a day to upload any type of video. Um, and during my, um, anyways, I'm not going to digress, but going back into the yeast overgrowth. Yeah, you have a leaky gut syndrome. It gets in, I don't get going here, but I'm gonna try to wrap this up. So when you have yeast and it goes into um, your intestines, um, into the bloodstream, then your body says detox, get rid of it. And so I ran to the bathroom and it being just the worst feeling ever. And from that YouTube video, I learned in that three minutes and I was like, hey, I'm gonna experiment with this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do no fats. I want to do no fats at all. And I did it for 30 days, 30 days, no fat. And I tell you, I tell you, and I, I'm not kidding you at all. I, I felt 
amazing. My energy soared. Um, I no longer had um, the symptoms. All the symptoms that I that I had started to decrease. So like ring airs, nausea, um, just feeling generally sick all the time, um, diarrhea, gurgling. Um, I also had like numbness, tingling in the arms and the legs. Um, what else? Um, head fog, yeast overgrowth, head fog is a big one. And I can list probably another 20 different symptoms um, that I experienced all at once, but I'm not gonna go through that list. So after that, my energy soared, um, my symptoms started to subside, and I started to feel great. Um, I, loved, I loved life once that started to happen. And then uh, and I tried a couple of other experiments um, to really help me to recover. And then most recently I've gone through some other experiments and I just feel through the roof, healthy, healthy, healthy. Like basically a clean bill of health. Um, no diabetes, no irritable bowel syndrome, no leaky gut syndrome, um, no digestive issues, no adrenal issues. Adrenal was also a big one. Um, yeah, basically I um, hold that ball of knowledge for how the body works and you don't learn any of this in school. I, I mean, our traditional school doesn't teach anything about health, any manuals about health, um, how your body functions, how everything is connected. Um, what are your main energy depleters? Um, how your body works, how every organ works. None of that's taught, right? You basically know, you know, heads, knees, toes, and whatever it was um, that you learned in um, elementary school. Um, so I want to conclude this video. Um, essentially, this video is just an icebreaker. It's to uh, let you know what kind of tribulations I've gone through. I've gone through a lot. Um, and health is by far, if, if any of you have any health issues, um, you'll know, especially if you have very severe health issues, you'll know that health is by far the number one priority in life. Nothing else succeeds it. I mean, if you don't have health, you really don't have anything. Um, you have to be able to help yourself with your health before you can help others. And everything else goes with that as well. Um, you can see this poster behind me. It is my vision board. Um, I'll spend some time on another video to go over that. Um, very important in life, having goals and knowing what direction you want to go in life. So that's why I originally thought about creating this channel specifically just for health because I can go endless about health. I can talk for months, even years about health um, with all the knowledge that I've attained. Um, non-stop so I want to be covering off health in this channel um, fitness fitness bodybuilding that was a huge area in my life um, yeah just reducing the amount of fat in your body increasing the amount of muscle um, just being able to have that healthy um, great looking body right whether you're female or male um, Males and females are quite a bit different just because of the estrogen, testosterone. Finances, I've done extremely well for myself in terms of finances. So I wanna cover off finances as well. I mean, there's a wealth of information there that I can share as well. Um, and then everything, of course, kind of boils down to happiness, satisfaction in life, freedom, um, all the good things in life that everybody wants, right? So. I'm here, I'm happy to share that with my group, my, my subscribers, my, what I call my fam jam. Um, so I'm coming up to 30 minutes here, I gotta get going. But uh, stay strong, um, please subscribe. You'll see a lot more videos coming your way because I intend to provide a lot of value through my channels and um, for everybody that, that crosses path with me. And I'd be happy to better your life in all areas by sharing wisdom, knowledge, um, application of those and how to apply those into your life and how to get you on essentially the, the right track in life, right? And for those who are looking for a life mentor, 
a life coach, I would be more than happy um, to help you out. Of course, my time is limited, so I can't have all that time to mentor each individual that I come across one-on-one. -on -one. But uh, that's what this channel is intended for, is to help each one of you um, through a series of videos. So take care, guys, and stay tuned, and please hit that subscribe button.